What's up, everyone? Decan here today with Fun Time Wallace. And today we are bringing you twelve different Nintendo Switch games that we think you should probably, most should definitely, pick up. Tune in. Guys. First game is Shantae, Half Genie Hero. Ooh, heard good things about that game. Fun game, it's a little fun platformer port from the Wii U. And if you want it physical, I would recommend getting this because it has a DLC included. Ooh. If you get it on the eShop, you have to pay for the game and the DLC. So I recommend mm. picking this up while it's cheap because it's the only physical copy that I believe they made so far. So. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Shantae, Half Genie Hero, it's super sick. See, and the thing is, I feel like a lot of people give give the Switch right now kind of crap because yes, a lot of these games, unfortunately, are ports, but at the same time, there's a lot of people that did not get the Wii U or did not get a chance. <laughs> See, there you go. They did not get a chance to play a lot of those games. So now that they're bringing them over to the Switch and usually they're full DLC, it's kind of cool. So. Something to keep in mind. And I'm not buying a Wii U, so. And there you go. So, guys, we're going to have a few Nicholas games on my list, but we have Cave Story, which I know Funtime Wallace has played. This game is great. Now, I don't know exactly what year this game came out. I know it wasn't for the Switch, obviously. Originally, was it 2004, I think, for the PC. Dang. So, 2004 for the PC. Correct wonder, me if I'm wrong. Has it had other ports besides PC? Like, probably, maybe. Probably. X X X X Who knows? But anyways... Okay. I would definitely recommend this game if you're looking for just a really fun game that will probably also piss you off because it's moderately difficult. Right. So And the rabbits are cute. There are some cute rabbits in this game, but Cave Story, definitely a game to check out. And it's not that expensive. I picked this up for 30 bucks. and what's really, really cool about these games from Nicholas, they always pack these full of, not only are you getting a manual, but sometimes they'll put like stickers and like other kinds of stuff in the game. So. Sure. Not something that every other game company is doing because a lot of times you open up these games and there's like nothing in there. Like there, I opened up a game the other day and literally there was like a warning label. There was no picture on the inside of the cover and I was just like, cool, 60 bucks, whatever. But it's terrible. Cave Story, definitely would recommend. Speaking of warning labels, this one has nothing in it, but it is a <laughs> sick game <laughs> called Penny Punching Princess. What a <sighs> This game is a super sick, like, beat em up style game. It has the retro kind of style of art that every other game has on the Switch right now. That seems like, anyways. It um, does. But Which this, is sick, though. It is kind of sick. Kind of sick. This game is, like, about capitalism, and you can, That's like, funny. pay for enemies, and it's super, it's super cool. You just have to check it out. And it's a really cool beat em up, and the bosses are very hard. And I am very stuck on this game. It's very hard. <laughs> but I would definitely suggest picking up as by Nis America, which a lot of the things they come out with is a good game. So Penny Punch and Princess. Got to have that into the collection. Yeah, it's Your scary. copy. No, Here you go, dude. Oh, dude, thanks. So next up on my list, Wild Guns Reloaded. I know a lot of you guys probably played this on Super Nintendo. I did not. I did not have this game. I actually never played it on Super Nintendo. I found out it was coming out for the Switch. Rushed to the nearest GameStop, and luckily they had a copy left. So this game, would you classify this like a shooter? Shoot. Like an arcade type Arcade shooter type game. shooter. I'm going to say once again, because I just pick really hard games for whatever reason. This game is very hard. He probably got further than I did, but I only got to like the second or like third area in this game. And I was just like, ah. So I don't know. <laughs> did you get pretty far? That's like the third or fourth. He had to get one more up. Yeah, like, yeah third or fourth <laughs> up here, but I think it was a third. Another game. I don't want to ruin it for you. <laughs> cool, dude. Oh yeah, the end where the another game that once again I, I tend to try not to spend too too much money. Always, you know, obviously when I go for deals and stuff like that. But a lot of these Switch games are like thirty bucks. Now I did hear from somebody online that this is actually already out of print. I don't know if that's true, but they said they were seeing it on eBay already for like forty or fifty bucks. I saw that, too. that sounds crazy, but I didn't. Did you actually check? Oh man, so, well, I got it for 30, so I'm not bragging by any means. If you can get a copy of this game, I would say get it now while you can, 
because a lot of these games are limited, which honestly to me is very sick, but at the same time, it's it kind of sucks for people that want to get their hands on one. But Sucks. Should have gotten them. You know? <laughs> yeah, I guess check the release date. Shut up. Yeah, I got, got to look them up. Check the channel. Subscribe on Tom Wallace Instagram. Shout them out. Plug, plug, plug. <laughs> but seriously, Wild Guns Reloaded, Natsum Serious Fun. Natsum A. That, that's the name of the company. Also awesome Harvest Moon. That's, oh, there you, there you go. That, that says it over there. So Wild Guns Reloaded, definitely another pick on my list. Next off we have South Park and the Fractured Butthole, B-U-T. <laughs> I was a super Ooh. huge fan of the Stick of Truth, so I was really excited to start this. I started on my computer and then just stopped playing because other things happened. But I restarted. <laughs> <laughs> I restarted this and put way more hours in it than I did on my PC, and I really love this game so far. Um, it is South Park, so it has really messed up humor. If you are under the age of 18, you cannot play this game without your parents' permission. Ask for your parents to get this game for you. They have to they, be in the room with you. They have while to you're playing play the game. it. Do not play it with your parents. Don't play, Don't play it at all if you're under 18. This is a very good game, though. It's a like tactical, tactical RPG. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tactical RPG, um, and it's really fun, and the humor is South Park. So if you watch South Park, you know what this game is, just with RPG elements. And it's by Ubisoft. Ubisoft. <laughs> Ubisoft. <laughs> Guys, we're going to hit y'all with another Nicholas classic, and we're going to go with the cutest game I've played so far on the Switch. Yes. It'll do... Two. Now when I first it'll do. It'll. Now when I first picked this game up, I thought it said little do because right well you can't see, but maybe later you can see it kinda looks like an L, but then I found out I'm dumb and it's called It'll Do Two. Basically to give you a quick idea of what this game is, take Zelda, like the Super Nintendo era of Zelda, and just make it like somehow like super cute. <laughs> a link to the past plus cute. <laughs> That's honestly the best description for this game. Once again, Nicholas always pumping out the awesome games and the $30 price mark. You cannot beat that. And this game actually had some cool other... Um, well, let's look at it real quick. There's a map, I think, and a manual. Right? Manual. They actually print on the inside. Oh, man. They actually print on the inside. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'll take a picture later. Um, it's just cool. The fact that you're not spending that much, but you're also getting a really great game, supporting a really cool company, and getting a lot of awesome stuff. So, there's a lot of awesome puzzles, and you go through dungeons, and once again, kind of a lot like Zelda Super Nintendo, but very, very cute. So I would definitely recommend. It'll do, too. It'll do. <laughs> Next one is another <laughs> RPG, Woo! which is probably one of my favorites on the system. I went out and got the Collector's Edition because I was just like, this game is beautiful. I do not have that on my hand right now, but it is Xenoblade 2. I'm um, the story on this- Borrow copy. Where's that base coming from? <laughs> the story's really sick. Um, the characters are really sick. I really like Ooh. the design of each blade, even though some of the blades really make me mad, which I'm not going to ruin it for him because he's played it. But some of the blades Honestly, really I'm make pretty me late, though. Mad. I should have I played it by now, so it's my fault. It's a very long But now I know I'm going to get mad. So and I put about, like, 20 hours this game, and there's still, like, I already know, there's probably, like, 100 more hours I've put this game. Oh, my god! But gosh. it's a super beautiful game. The art in it is beautiful. It's very, very, very big. Um, I haven't played the first one, so don't say anything in the comments about the first one because we're posers and play the second one first. And by him, I mean me. So, yeah, Xenoblade Chronicles. <laughs> yeah, um, we play games backwards. This is a sixty-dollar game, but it is well worth the sixty dollars. While we're on our uh, Nicholas kick, we got another game that oh, I'm already getting mad thinking about it. Tiny Barbarian DX. That D probably stands for dumb, because uh, you're going to get very dumb, founded, and mad when you play this game. It's a lot of fun. First of all, I'm not going to just bash it. It's a lot of fun. It's just one of those games that it just kind of stresses you out. You were just trying to jump from a vine to a little platform. You got boulders falling down, all kinds of stuff, and you just die constantly. The game is pretty difficult, I would say. And I hate to admit this, but I can't <laughs> beat it. I got towards the end, and did you beat it? I, I don't have it yet. Uh, dude, have it. here you go. Now it's yours. Well, I have it now. I'm giving games away today. Giveaway. <laughs> to Andre, not y'all. This is mine now. Fun time, boss. So anyways. Anyway. <laughs> now he's going to talk about it for his game. Tiny Barbarian. I would recommend picking it up. Just know that it's going to be a little difficult. But uh, next game. 
Next game is Rayman Legends. Actually, we gotta take a commercial break. <laughs> Next game is oh. Rayman Legends. Ooh. I'm always a very big fan of the Rayman Origins on the Wii. Um, this game did everything that game, but like 20 times better. Um, there's really cool sequences at the end of each like world where you kind of play along to the music, and it's really, really sick. And this game also, I think it has levels for the Origins. I was going to say, is it a port from the Wii, or...? It, it came out on the PS4 and I think the Xbox One. This is like okay. the newer okay. gaming game. But the definitive... Uh, yeah. uh, it just definitive has a bunch edition. of extra stuff, like awesome. soccer and like, all that's weird. Well, this game is super sick. If you like Rayman Origins, definitely pick this up, because it's like 15, 20 times better than Rayman Origins. And uh, music levels are like what made me love this game. Pick it up. <laughs> All right, guys, next up on my list, we have a game from Badland Games. That game is Axiom Verge. Now, this game is a lot of fun. Once again, this is another game that came out, I want to say, I think it was like 2000. I could be wrong. I think it was 2015. It's probably released to the, uh, the PC first or maybe like Xbox or something like that. I don't know if you know or not. but I know it came on the PC. But PC know. first. So basically, an older game ported over the Switch, which is awesome. Um, once again, a really good price mark. I think it was either 30 or 45 for this game. I cannot remember. Um, but basically, this game is like a Metroidvania style game. It's once again, you know, these uh, all of these like retro style games end up being moderately difficult. Um, but this game is a lot of fun. You get like different power ups throughout the game, uh, just different weapons and stuff like that. I'm not going to talk too too much about it because we don't spoil games on this channel right now. But till the next episode. Till, <laughs> till the next episode. But I would definitely add this to a list of you know just games that you should check out. Axiom Verge definitely would recommend it. Also, I've not played it and do want that game. So if dude, wait that, a bro. second, bro. Yo, bro. free games if y'all come down. Yo, here, come on down. Games. We're giving games away. <laughs> Last game is another Miss America game, which I just got, and... Oh man, we're gonna end with sad games, oh no! I don't know if it's sad yet, but I'm just gonna go ahead and say it's a sad game. And that is the <laughs> longest five minutes. This game is really cool, because it starts you from the end of a game. You start trying to fight the boss, and you forget all your memories, and you kind of play through the game remembering those memories during a boss fight. It's really confusing just saying it, but once you play it, <laughs> you'll understand and you get your Sounds memories awesome, back at the end of each little secret sequence level thing. And it's it's super cool. And it's like an old kind of like final like Final Fantasy on the NES oh, nice. style game. Like that style so there. Sick. How it's many hours total do you think? To beat the game compared to like, you know, RPGs, there's always extras and stuff like I'm that. I'm assuming it ends at five minutes. I there you go, spoiler! <laughs> not, it's not five minutes, but like, I'm assuming... Huge spoiler! I'm assuming like probably like 10, 15 So hours. five minutes into the game, done. This game's five minutes long. <laughs> I'm assuming like 10, 15 hours, probably. Art beautiful. That's like, I was gonna say, that's, that seems kind of shorter. Not like complaining, but kind of shorter. Well, it's not really like an art, it has art. <laughs> I don't know minutes. why it sneezed in the video, but there it is. <laughs> And we're not gonna edit that out because why would we? It's like, not an RP. It is an RPG. It's so it's like a graphic RPG, like a graphic novel RPG. So you're reading a lot more than you're doing the RPG stuff. But there is RPG elements. If you there. like to read and RPGs, like this <laughs> this game it's, for you. it's very confusing. Just look it up and you'll understand what I'm talking about once you look it up. Last on my list, which you guys have hopefully already seen my review on it. If not, I'll plug it up last there. Last video, go check it out. Uh, check, uh, my, Good review. Might not be the last video, but one of those one of, the, one of those videos. Towards Anyways, last last we both months. played this so we can both talk about this one. I Am Setsuno by Square Enix. Guys, this game is great. If you're looking for just a really, really good RPG, definitely pick up I Am Setsuna. Um, I'm not going to go too into super, super details other than I personally love the game. You got any uh, comments on it there? Yeah, I got bud. some comments on this. Two videos ago, my boy over here dropped a review on this right here. Check it out. Great game. <laughs> you wouldn't know that if you checked this review out, but really, it is a great game. Beautiful art, beautiful music. I haven't finished it yet, so I can't. You know. Can't spoil the game can't here. Can't spoil it. Next video, though, Which might be a spoiler. Nah, I'm not going to. But spoil. it's very beautiful so far. I'm close to that. I'm like tiptoeing like... when I talk about games. I'm like, I don't want to talk about too much. It's such a beautiful game. Giveaway. It's kind of like Chrono Trigger. Secret of the Man, I like that era. Definitely that era of stuff. Squaresoft. So. A good RPG, you're gonna put a lot of hours into it. I'd say at least 
25 30 but it is one of those i mean like i say i say this in general most rpgs you beat the game but then there's like oh you can do the side missions and stuff like that i'd say you probably get you could get like maybe 40 50 hours out of this game if you so, want to do everything right so i would definitely recommend it now this game actually we both picked up a copy from our local gaming store dusty's the, this game was actually imported um so the, the actual cover you know this is the english cover version which is cool um, but I'll also show you guys the, the other version too, or I'll flash it on the screen. But definitely would recommend uh, picking this up. I feel like honestly this game is not going to be a game that goes down I, as far as value goes. I think I got this game for it's 55 or 60, I forgot. I think maybe 55, Dusty's cuts his deals sometimes there. Great place, check them out if you're in the area. Um, but I think it personally is gonna go. I got mine for 60, so. And we're not saying this in hopes that it jumps up because of this video. I don't think we have that kind of push no, on the market just yet. Know. But maybe yeah, one day. Next episode. Ah, check it out. <laughs> now, but guys, that's, uh, that's it. We just wanted to put together a really cool video on just a bunch of Switch games. Um, please drop some comments. I'm gonna plug his Instagram in so you guys boom. can check it out. He posts right a lot here, of boom. really, boom, right there. It's gonna be there or something. He posts a lot of really awesome photos. Um, just different gaming and stuff like that. And if you guys like these kind of videos, drop a comment, let us know, and we'll be glad to do more, maybe like different consoles, different systems, stuff like that. But any final words, Fun Time Wallace? Final words is check out his I Am Sensuna interview, <laughs> interview, in review, inter check review. out his Toys R Us video, Closed Down, Bam. Check out all that the was other a, that videos. That was a sad bam. one. That's and a sad check one, out though. my Instagram. Instagram, man. And his Instagram. There you go. Bam. All right, guys. Peace the homies in the back watching this not playing Yo, south park dude what are you dude what are you doing over here bro like dude like, like what? dude well